billing. Still billing. Phantom's patient. To the point. Whipped in. Chance. Goal! Early power play marker for Will Weldon. 31 seconds of the power play to go. And blow me down. It's Will Weldon with the goal. So, just going back to the replay now. We can see it here. Pass comes over. I can't see who got that tap, but uh, it goes James Farrar in the corner. He stops. Paul's met him out of his crease, pulls him out of position. At the point that Weldon takes his shot. And number 77, Jay King, just comes out saved by uh, Jordan Marr. Possession still held by the Bison. Bison shoots. Goal! It's a leveller for the Bison! Not sure who, whether the uh, goal scorer, was it King, got all of it. It's either King or Cowley. I think it's actually King. Yeah, he scuffs it. it. And whether it's tipped in there by the man at the back post, let's just see that again. Either way, it's a leveller. There's the replay, there's the shot, it just goes down. It looks to me as though George Norcliffe will be the goal scorer. Let's wait for the announcement on that. I can't see the puck at all, folks at home. Callum Bouglas is calling for it. Scott Robson, who has scored! I don't believe it! Robson, with the goal from the top of the circle, he marches in from the point. Takes a touch, top of the circle. Well, Scott Robson bangs his second goal of the semi-final and the Phantoms lead by one on the evening and two over the weekend. Yeah, we can see there is the, there's big, big uh, confusion down, lots of players down. The puck comes out, Bouglas was calling for it. <laughs> As the puck came out, you can see on the replay there, Billing had a good chance of getting to it, but the communication between the players meant he backed off in favour of Robson, who had a clear lane to hammer it. Oh, good hit on the boards. Stretch pass taken, man in the slot. Oh, great play. Opportunity, McEwen. Oh, what lovely play by Corey McEwen. Stayed on his skates. Phantoms break. Now is there a chance? Padalek, still Padalek. Goal! Oh! What a finish from the top line! What a finish from the top line! Panelek to Ferrara, Ferrara on the doorstep! Great move, lovely move from Panelek. Jimmy Ferrara the back post, Jimmy Ferrara with the playoff goal, extending the lead for the Peterborough Phantoms. 3-1 on the night, Phantoms lead by three. And the players go to Jordan Marr and say, if it wasn't for you, Jordan Marr, We'd have been in a big hole. And uh, the Bison breakaway as well. Good poke check from Scott Robson. Great pass. Romeo shoots. Saved by Metem. It's going to bounce. Oh, and that's through the blue paint. Good pressure from the fourth line. Harding presses. Harding wins it. Great play from Harding. Bordowski with the move. What a goal. Fashioned by Adam Harding. Finished by Bordowski. What a great goal. The Phantoms should have cleared their zone and they did not clear their zone. So, it is Peterborough 3, Basingstoke 2 on the evening. The Bison have got nine seconds before their man comes out of the box and then they will be on the power play. Well. And only three and a half minutes ago, Dan, you were saying Ashley Tate would want to get his troops in. Chance for James White. Goal! White with number four for the Phantoms on the evening. There you go. So Tom Norton there just tips it through to White. White's got aches of space, stops, picks his point, goes block aside high. That is traditionally most netminders' weak spot. So there you go, Norton passes it through. He pulls two of the Bison players away, giving White plenty of time and space. Turns point, shoots, and that goal that Bison just got back is nullified within seconds. 
So, one minute 17 remaining in this second period. Yeah, Pollard picks the bison pocket. 3.58 remaining, last four minutes of the game. Phantoms have held strong so far in this period. Bordowski, fans on one, still retains possession. Out to 74, shoots, it's bouncing. Go. Well, I didn't see how it went in, Dan, but it's in. Is that the lifeline? 3.42 remaining. Absolutely it is. We can see the replay now. It goes past at the back by Borodovsky, I think. K fires. Yeah, King fires it in, and then it bounces back out, and I think Borodovsky's the player to get the last tap to it. 4-3 on the night, it's now a two-goal lead for the Phantoms. This is what I was talking about earlier. The Bison will keep fighting back. Adam Harding over the blue line. Phantoms' legs looking weary, 2.40 remaining. You've heard that hashtag from those tweeters heard in the third. Pad save, Ma. Cowley shoots the Phantoms. That's Weldon throwing himself at it. Sisters, oh, the little drop. 54 to go. Metam's gone. Empty net. Empty net. Empty net. McEwen. Good night, Vienna! Okay, we'll watch the replay now. McEwen's got the puck, there's an empty net, he's got two by some players, goes for the shot. Cowley has a great stop, it bounces out to Stepanik. Stepanik just gloves it out of the air, puts it on his stick, and it's away. But Russ Cowley, again, showing all of the experience, puts. No, sorry, correction, it's not Cowley. It's a player on the back post. I can't see the number. But it was worth a shot by the Bison. 